Okay, so I've made many improvements to the mobile FPS kit. Um, many more are to come, but basically I upgraded it to Unity 4. Um, basically, the big update that I had to change was how Unity changed the way the uh, active object works. When I deactivate an object, um, it doesn't deactivate anything else. It used to set active recursively, which meant that all the child game objects were deactivated. Now that's not true. Each game object is no longer deactivated. They, they control their own activation or deactivation, so they don't affect anything else. But since this object is not deactivated, but the parent object is deactivated, it means that it will be deactivated, so it will not call um, update or any of those mono behavior commands. So that's that's a pretty neat feature. I had to improve that. But another thing that I improved was a lot of people complained that the mobile FPS kit wasn't working with Unity Remote. And Unity Remote, you can download it for free off the iTunes store. Basically, you can connect your iPod device or whatnot, your iOS device, to the Unity Editor. So let's just, I made it so that it does interface with the, the mobile kit. The, uh, so if you move your mouse, it moves the uh, things. But let's go ahead and play with the uh, Unity Remote. So I'm moving my character around with the remote. Okay. I can turn my head, turn around, turn my head around. Okay. So I can crouch. Let's see if I can crouch. Now uh, for me, Unity Remote is just really slow. So when I touch a button, it usually doesn't take the first time. But uh, for all of you, if you have a better internet connection, and you probably do, it probably works a lot faster. So I can switch my weapon, switch my weapon to my to my rifle. Let's shoot. All right. Bam. Bam. Okay, ah, come on, turn around, there we go. And let's try jumping. Come on, jump, there we go, jump. All right, let's go over here, let's get on a ladder. And that's what I like about my kit is the uh, the ladder. Look at that, I got a ladder, oh yeah. I know, go look at the other kits, do they got ladders? Huh? A couple of them I think do. But, uh, uh, another thing, somebody wanted to change the uh, the bullets right here. They didn't want it to say bullets anymore. And uh, there's only one way to do that, and uh, it's not easy. Basically, each gun, they have this gun regular script on it right here. And uh, it's controlled with this um, ammo counter text control. Okay, it controls basically what the ammo counter says. Um... Basically, you go into Mono Develop, you go to Gun Regular, and uh, you find this ammo count text button. Okay, and it's an object, and uh, basically it shows up three times in the script right here. So it says bullets. So if you don't want bullets in it, all you do is go into here, and you would delete it, and you just wouldn't have it. Um, let's go to the. That's one place where ammo count text is at. And then here's a second place ammo count text right here. And then the third place is right here. You just basically change out and you just say, I don't want bullets. Don't want bullets. Don't want bullets. You would save it. You come back and it shouldn't have it. It shouldn't have bullets on there. So let's uh, compile it really quick. I'm running out of time. All right, come on. Come on, compile. Come on. Always so slow. Oh boy. Alright, I don't think I'm going to have enough time. But it shouldn't. Okay, let's do it. Okay, no bullets. See that? So it doesn't say bullets right there anymore. No bullets. Alright. Alright, thanks. Uh, bye.